Welcome to DVGRR's Golden Gateway. Our mission is simple. Delaware Valley Golden Retriever Rescue provides new beginnings for displaced Golden Retrievers and other Golden Hearted Retrievers, along with a full array of adoptive and educational support. Since founded in 1993, we've placed well over 5,000 Goldens, Labs, and Golden Hearted Dogs into new homes through Eastern Pennsylvania, Maryland, New Jersey, and beyond. We are a 501c3 nonprofit organization relying on donations, our supporters, fundraising, and the proceeds of our events and online and on site retail store for funding. Our campus is only open to the public during our monthly open house events held the second Saturday of every month or by appointment. We're proud of our five acre campus that opened in 2000, so we'd like to show you around. Dogs arrive at Golden Gateway from many places, such as relinquishing owners, puppy mills, and backyard breeders, other shelters and rescues, or found as strays either locally or on the streets of Puerto Rico. When a dog arrives, we allow them a few days to settle in, and then one of our trainers does a behavioral assessment. Dogs then undergo a veterinary exam that also includes blood work to help reveal any underlying issues, as well as providing any needed vaccines. We do x-rays on our senior dogs and also spay or neuter dogs that require it. The typical day at Golden Gateway is a beehive of activity. Our kennel caregivers operate on two shifts, from 7 a.m. until 2 p.m. and then from 4 p.m. until 9 p.m. Each shift starts with the dogs going out for their first potty and then feeding time. That's followed by playtime and training sessions. While the dogs are out, bedding is stripped and laundered and we do about a dozen loads of laundry every day. And bowls are washed and sanitized. Kennels are also cleaned daily. There are numerous play yards around our campus along with various pieces of agility equipment that we use to help dogs gain more confidence. Plus, there's a walking trail that surrounds the property and volunteers arrive daily to walk dogs. We ensure that every dog gets plenty of attention and exercise. After the last pee, it's either nap time or bedtime for the dogs, complete with a snack. Before departing, the staff preps the meals for the next shift. Some dogs arrive needing isolation before they can join the general population. We've designed our special care unit specifically to avoid any cross-contamination. Special care unit staff does not enter the main kennel during their shift, and we have special air handlers dedicated to this area. The dogs in our special care unit also have their own dedicated play yard. Because Goldens can be very susceptible to food allergies, we feed Nutrisource high quality dog food and we go through a 30 pound bag every day. Staff measures out the proper amount for each dog and includes any prescribed medications. They also prep all of the nap time or bedtime snacks, usually peanut butter filled Kongs or biscuits. We have a fully equipped grooming room and dogs are groomed after they arrive and have settled in. It's not unusual for them to have matted fur or skin issues that need special attention. Dogs are also groomed before our monthly open house events and prior to adoption. In 2011, our dream of an on-site veterinary facility became reality when we built Buddy's Animal Rescue Clinic, our Bark Hospital. Here we're able to expedite all needed veterinary care from checkups to basic surgeries, including spay and neuter procedures, lump removals, entropion eye surgery, and dental work. We work with vets from local practices who pitch in on their days off to perform checkups and procedures. Opened in 2014, the Lynn Glennon Sanctuary for Senior Goldens and Puppy Mill Survivors was specifically designed and renovated to accommodate the needs of these dogs that arrive at Golden Gateway. And it is the heart of our Project Home Life program. We actually began Project Home Life, or PHL, in 2009 to help rehabilitate mill survivors and other shy dogs so that they would more readily acclimate to life in a normal household. We help these dogs develop trust and overcome fears of everyday household sights and sounds, furniture, mirrors, appliances, TVs, various floor types and steps. Dogs in this program are typically paired with mentor dogs to show them the ropes with the goal of speeding up their rehabilitation time. Staff and volunteers work with these dogs every day to help them gain confidence and learn to be normal dogs. 
The sanctuary has its own isolation area, so dogs there can be introduced to PHL sooner. There are also dedicated play yards here, as well as bedrooms and larger areas for group living. Due to greater numbers of dogs arriving from puppy mills, we expanded our main kennel in 2019 to provide more room for the PHL program inside that building. Additionally, we still use the apartment facility in the basement of our caretaker's residence to help dogs residing in the special care unit be ready for adoption sooner. Opened in 2017 after years of planning, the Thomas and Marion Ludwig Adoption and Activity Center allows us to hold our important monthly open house events regardless of weather. These events provide prospective adopters the opportunity to meet dogs in person. We also use this facility for special fundraising events, seminars, workshops, indoor training, including our life skills class, and more. Pap's Place is our on-site retail store, and it is open to the public. Proceeds from these sales go right back into our program to help the dogs. Plus, our website offers 24-7 shopping opportunities. The BLT's Snack Shop operates during events at Golden Gateway, with proceeds, again, going right to the dogs. Our 2019 expansion allowed for the construction of much-needed office space for staff and to provide climate-controlled storage. Additionally, we now have a dedicated space to conduct adoption appointments. Our kennel manager's office is also control central from where we can monitor all of the security cameras. Adjacent to our main campus is our caretaker's residence. Our on-site caretaker is available to respond overnight if there are any issues in the kennel, and especially during thunderstorms. While the caretaker lives on site, we understand the importance of fire safety and have sprinkler systems throughout the kennel and the sanctuary with its own pump house. Our memorial garden is a quiet corner of campus with the rainbow bridge and memorial brick pathway. We also have displays for the granite bricks that people are welcome to purchase as part of an ongoing fundraiser. People are welcome to memorialize either people or dogs. We are very proud of our program and facility and are forever grateful to our DVGRR family and supporters who've made all of this possible over the years. We invite you to join us for any of our monthly open house events held the second Saturday of each month from 10 a.m. until noon. And to learn more about our program, feel free to explore our website.